So we're out here in Vegas, it was CS 2019, and we got to check out the Mazda CX-5 signature for a week. So here's my test drive and let's take this car for a spin. Starting with the interior of the CX-5 signature, Mazda keeps the same look from the previous vehicles, even the uh, sedan. So the steering wheel is still the same, you've got your start engine button, um, and the of course the drivetrain also is very similar. Sports mode, of course, for this vehicle, it's got a turbo in there. Um, and when we go to navigation, the display menu is easy to navigate. You can either use the touchscreen or the dial to actually navigate. Now, when you're using that display, you've got a 360 camera view, so it detects vehicles around you. Plus, you've also got that, um, you know, a side mirror notification and that beeping sound that tells you, look, there's a car right next to you, be careful. Now, sound system is all Bose, and it sounds really good. I could play some music for you, but you know why. Uh, I can tell you it really is very good. USB ports uh, at every juncture, and even at the back seat where it has heating, and cooling, you've got two extra USB ports so you can actually go ahead and uh, charge your devices. Now the trunk space is a little smaller than I would like, but again, this is kind of like the mid-size SUV, so something for you to throw in your luggage with your family if you've got a compact family setup, or friends and take with you on the road. It is very nice, it is good to drive in this vehicle. It's an experience. And I have to say, I really enjoyed it. Plus that all wheel drive really goes a long way in taking to that desert feel in Las Vegas. All right guys, we are driving in the 2019 Mazda CX-5 Signature. And this time's a little different because I have a full vehicle with me and a bunch of awesome individuals. I've got Michael Josh here from Gadget Match, as well as also Chai, who's behind me. And uh, we've got Super Saf there in the corner at the back. Um, yeah, so it's been, uh, it's been an interesting ride. We've had this car, as I stated earlier in the video, for about a week driving around Vegas. And now we are going out into the wilderness to go camp. No, I, I don't camp, guys, I'm just, just joking. But uh, we're going out to go take some photos and do uh, a couple of shoots out there. And um, it's been a very interesting experience driving this car. It's, uh, at least for me, it's been comfortable. Uh, you've got that um, four cylinder, 2.5 the engine you've got of course the turbo there as well so you can put into sports mode so whenever you need that extra kick it's about 270 something horsepower in this car but i wanted to actually just kind of hand it over to my guests on the back because you know um, i never actually sit in the back seat so how's the driving experience been for you guys in the back uh michael how is it's, it? it's been pretty comfy you know sometimes the vehicles you can feel especially with the kind of road that we're headed right now ups and downs and that can be quite dizzy but I've been pretty comfortable right here. Not a lot of uh not a lot of wiggling around. Alright, alright that means you said I almost fell asleep. <laughs> I did fall asleep. Saf did fall asleep. Yeah Saf, Saf fell asleep. Saf how was it for you? Yeah it's nice comfortable spacious and uh yeah I mean I'm pretty tired so I I, I knocked out and I was really comfortable so can't complain. He was sleeping like a baby basically <laughs> Yeah, it means that means I'm a very good driver. You're a very good driver, and it's a very good car. I yeah. think it's next to the car that you drive. Chai, <laughs> <laughs> how about you? It's really comfortable and spacious, like we all think. Hopefully, you're busy Instagramming, so we didn't fall asleep like Zap. Yes, yes. <laughs> priorities. Priorities indeed. But yeah, it's uh, it's been a fun ride. I mean, also you've got those navigation controls in the car. Uh, you can sync it up to Android Auto. Uh, we're going up this uh, little winding road. winding road in mountain region over here. Um, but again, like navigation controls are right by your fingertips. So it's the same as in all Mazdas, easy to use, Android Auto, uh, Apple CarPlay, that kind of stuff. 
So there's a lot to be said about the CX-5 signature. We got a good idea of how this car felt and drive throughout the week. We had it for a week in Vegas. It was really nice, comfortable drive. I felt very comfortable as a driver. And you also got some feedback from passengers in the vehicle. That's something that's really important. Uh, what I would like to see from future vehicles is a bit more streamlining in the navigation system and also maybe some more horsepower within the drivetrain so that I can get just a little bit more kick and don't have to kick into sports mode more often. I enjoyed this vehicle. I think it was fun to drive. Bigger trunk space would be nice. But I think as a whole, when you walk into your vehicle and drive out in the desert sunset, it is absolutely amazing. So any questions and comments, let me know, guys. Don't forget to like and share, subscribe to the channel, and always enjoy your entertainment.